2022 officially introduced 24 roles to Woolsill and in this video you will see what the better half of them looks like. Here we rate roles using CBF scores which stands for creativity, balance and fun and all roles are judged on a scale of 1 to 10 on CBF. In total you get a score out of 30 and the higher that is the better. A role that scores 6 out of 10 on all these aspects for example, also the role we start today with is the ritualist. Yes, the ritualist takes spot 12 but could be swapped with the bell ringer on number 13 that appeared in part 1. I like to describe the ritualist as the stone medium. It is less flexible than the medium but it can revive even if the ritualist is already dead. So its revival is kinda set in stone. It's less flexible by the way because if someone dies and you actually did not cast the spell on them then you can already forget about reviving them. Whereas a medium can revive anyone who is dead and village sided. Playing as Ritualist is mildly exciting but not anything near my favorite role to play with and it's somewhat creative since it is pretty much the only role that can still do something after dying but in the end it's also just a medium. In terms of balance it might be a bit stronger than the medium but nothing too special. Number 11. Evil Detective. With a CBF score of 20 out of 30 we make a leap of 2 this time. This role scores lowest on creativity of the remaining roles and hence it's here first. Evil Detective as the name implies is very much like a detective but can kill instead of just giving information. What makes this role fun to play in comparison to other solo roles is that killing two players is really strong in potential but you always have to consider if it will be worth killing a soft ally or not. If you want to play like a serial killer you can totally do that, just select yourself and your target. In terms of balance, this role is fine. Crypto and Illusionist are the other roles in this role tree namely and both have a useful gimmick, hence the evil detective getting an option to kill two players is a fair compensation. Number 10. Baker. The Baker is one of those roles that comes with references and whatnot. Bakers tend to talk about baguette and croissant. You know, I think the jokes were creative but not anymore, much like the role itself. Creativity sits at 6 out of 10 because empowering another villager is somewhat unique but in the end it is also just a reversed grumpy grandma. No. It might be fun to play with though, since nowadays with a lot of conversion roles available it might be tricky to feed the right player, even though it's usually still quite easy. With that the role is very balanced and can provide you a clutch endgame like Mayor and Avenger. Number 9. Illusionist. The ninth place is the Illusionist. This role is pretty unique and depending on who you are, fun to play. It is rather on the weak side though. Ha! Did I trick you or not? Anyways, the real number 9 is the Wolf Trickster. Which lacks imbalance foremost. The role itself is quite creative as it's able to actually steal an appearance but the required work has to be done and there's always a way for the village to suspect you. This role incentivizes you to play with skill, to go out there and get a mislinch happen so that you can steal an appearance. That is not only a creative role design but also fun. So much fun that this role scores an 8 out of 10 on fun. The real letdown is balance, not because it breaks games but because it is significantly stronger than the wolf shaman. Honestly, I don't know many people, if any, that choose the shaman over the trickster and that is just a sign that there's not a correct balance between the two. Number 8. Night Watchman. The Night Watchman is actually very similar to the Wolf Trickster in terms of scores. The idea of seeing who is protected gives you a special edge, that supervisor spirit of knowing how many protections are still left and that is such a cool gimmick in combination with your two emergency protections. The same goes for fun here, that feeling that you are like the gatekeeper of the village, you are the king of the night essentially, I love it. But why is it not higher on the list then if this one was so good? Well once again, balance. This role feels like it is born in the wrong role tree. The doctor can infinitely protect and the night watchman just can't. Since the night watchman replaces the doctor, you often see that games lack protection if you take the night watchman and that is the weak side of this role as well. Is it fair? Yes, but should this role be the advanced role of Another role like Sea Apprentice for example, also yes. Sea Apprentice may not be the perfect role to be an advanced role of, that is a topic for a different video, but without a doctor, bodyguard or tough guy the Night Watchman is also pretty useless. Number 7. Gambler. Score 21 out of 30. 7 on creativity, 7 on balance, 7 for fun. And hey, did I mention it sits in spot 7 too? 
is that really the lucky number seven then? Yes, the Gambler is without the doubt the coolest informer added to Wool Sale in 2022. You literally have to guess who is good or bad or solo and the answer will be affirmative or negative. Affirmative information can give you a better understanding of someone's position than an aura seer could, but negative leaves the answer in the air but only for a bit. I still think there is a way to improve this role, but it already got a 7 on creativity for the guessing element, a 7 for balance since it's balanced and a 7 for fun because you need to do more than just click someone suspicious, namely click twice. <laughs> Number 6. Werewolf Fan I'm a werewolf fan, you too? And are you a werewolf fan fan? Well, I am because this role is a well-rounded role with a 7 out of 10 on all aspects of the CBF rating. It is creative enough to be distinct from Cursed and Grave Robber. You need to actively look for werewolves and tell them that you are the werewolf fan to get converted. But watch out, if you tell it to the wrong player, you might get killed. Also, there is an advantage of being unconverted. Namely, that your aura will be good. The game is mostly in your hand, however I tend to not pick this role often because personally I like to play as Cursed or especially Grave Robber more. Still, it is a nice time to play as Werewolf Fan and you at least don't have to worry about team swapping if that is normally your concern. Number 5. Instigator. The Instigator is in spot 5. Woohoo! Also, solid in all areas with a peak at fun. You never belong to the village, which takes away the decision whether to claim or not. You know each other from the start and your recruits are always on different teams. So no early rip, double, werewolf or just a very vulnerable village couple. You can even guide your team, which is a nice feature for people who like to be leaders in team games. Balance is difficult to measure against the Cupid, but honestly, neither is broken. So that is good enough for a 7 out of 10. This role is creative enough, it introduced private messages at daytime, yes, it was there before the Alpha Werewolf. So solid role in general and honestly, I never heard of instigator haters. Speaking of supporters, I have a nice offer for you. By going to the settings in Wulsa and clicking on Creator Boost, you can fill in code HYPO and from your future purchases a percentage of the revenue goes to me. It is 100% free for you, no higher cost and you can financially support me. You can also support your own entertainment soul by subscribing to this channel so that we can soon hit 5k subscribers. Alright, back to the list. Number 4. Warden same CBF score as Instigator, so they are interchangeable. The Warden can tactically jail two people, has a bit less control of what happens behind the bars, but there's always an option to arm a prisoner. But well, the weapon can backfire, so in the end it's not as boring as just watching your prisoners talk, or not talk to each other, to know what they really want. Balance wise this role is fine too, nothing special to add. Number 3. Flagger the Flagger has Bronze. In comparison to the Warden and Instigator, I would argue it's a bit less fun to play with the Flagger, only due to the fact that you would need to redirect to yourself in order to prevent game throwing. And yes, game throwing is really that sharp edge of this role. People will only not complain if you redirect to a Convert Evil, because otherwise it might be game throwing or random killing. But in general, I still think it's really fun to play if you just could put aforementioned problems aside. It is strong, more flexible than the Beast Hunter and Trapper and I can never deny that it's fun to try and think like werewolves and base your redirect off that. It shines in creativity and balance wise, it is perfect in my opinion. Beast Hunters guarantee that they kill evils or save against solos, but flaggers can get their kills done more easily. Number 2. Split Wolf This role is brilliant and scores a 23 out of 30, almost an average of 8 out of 10. That is because it's really really creative with the binding ability that also doubles your existence towards the wind condition. It is balanced too because you risk dying yourself if your bound target dies and you need to read the game well to know when and on who to use it. In my very honest opinion, I have not even figured out how to play this role myself, even though I did get a couple of wins with it. For smart players, this role is one of the most fun roles to play with because it has a huge carry potential with risks and demands the best judge in you. Only one role remains then. Number 1. Ghost Lady Yes, it is the Ghost Lady. This role is the one I really fell in love with since its introduction. It just hits different. It is quite creative since no other role can be away from home and dodge attacks in that way. 
if you wish to, you can literally just visit the solo or werewolves and not die. You can even tie against some solos by visiting them since they can't attack you or visit someone who is likely good and hope you can save them. You can get yourself confirmed, that too. But the role can also be simulated by werewolves even if it is somewhat risky. Let one werewolf confirm that the werewolf that simulated Ghost Lady fisted them after a night in which the werewolves didn't kill and tada. This role is a protector, self-protector and self-revealer all in one. What an amazing addition this was. Balance wise it is fine too because the Red Lady and Sheriff have abilities that actually find evils. At most, you can say that these roles don't make sense to be advanced roles of each other. And do I need to start about fun? For me this role has a fun score of 10 out of 10 and it requires skill, can save the village in multiple ways and can get itself confirmed with a little challenge. This is the best role of 2022 and might very well be in the top 3 roles of all time. Have a nice 2023, hopefully with even more exciting roles. If you enjoyed this video then check out this video here on the end screen. I'm 100% convinced that you will have a blast with this video. You can also subscribe and then turn on the bell to get future videos as well. I will see you later and don't be a traitor. Goodbye.